natural gas leaks have been responsible for a significant number of fires following major earthquakes. For example, during the 1994 Northridge earthquake, 67% of residential fires were the result of leaking natural gas. After a major earthquake, 911 emergency responders like fire, police, even utility personnel will be overwhelmed. Consequently, it is vital that all household members know when and how to shut off the natural gas in the event they smell or notice it leaking. When thinking about natural gas, the first thing you want to do is identify where your gas meter is located. Where? Probably the front third of your house, possibly on the side, like in this case. So once you've identified where the gas meter is, next thing is identify the natural gas shutoff valve. That will be the first fitting out of the ground is the natural gas shutoff valve. Note where it is right now because that's in the on position. Next thing you want to notice, the dials. Dials will indicate how much is being used. So the three things you want to think about is if you smell a leak, if you hear a leak, or you notice unusual usage, that might be the time to pull out the wrench and shut that gas off. Once you've determined there's a natural gas leak, take out your wrench and identify the valve, first one out of the ground. Turn it a quarter turn so it's crosswise with the pipe. Now this valve can turn in either direction. Note, never turn the gas back on once it has been shut off. If you do, you may create a gas leak in your home. Only qualified gas personnel should turn it back on. They need to inspect your system for post-earthquake leaks and equipment failures. 